and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube uh, for a donation deck day. We got four of them on the docket. The first up is going to be Boros Aggro. You may remember this deck from uh, last format. This was a deck I put together to just really just try to, to build like an, a, a Tajik and a really a deck. Um, but we got a donation to, to kind of update it. And we do have a lot of updates here with Throne of Eldraine. Our, let's kind of start with our two mana slot. We got the new Eidolon of Obstruction. I really am not sure about this or Robber of the Rich, to be honest. You know, Robber of the Rich, you know, has haste, which is nice and, um, you know, can be a source of card advantage, even though it's not um, super reliable. But I think we're going to go with Eidolon instead, you know, being first strike. First strike is really valuable whenever you're using, um, like, direct damage things like justice strike bone crusher giant on blockers or or you can pump you know pump the power with like integrity or mentoring on with tajik or even pumping the power with aurelia so there's a lot of ways to make um eidolon of obstruction even more difficult to block so we're going to be playing that um we got phoenix of ash which i just absolutely love i think this is just a really good card so we got phoenix of ash and we also got tectonic giant in the four mana slot another card that i think is really solid Definitely really thought about Hactos, like fitting in Hactos in here, but I think that Tectonic Giant is going to perform better most of the time. Um, of course, th this is a Hushbringer deck, and I remember last time, like this, this ended up being a pretty good Hushbringer deck because Hushbringer, you know, can be pretty impactful, but it's also a two mana one two, and it's really hard for like the one two to be impactful. But if you pair that with like Tajik, that's like mentoring onto the Hushbringer and other ways to to grow the Hushbringer with like Aurelia, Tajik, um, and you make like the actual body matter, that that flying uh, creature, you make that matter, then Hushbringer starts being a lot better card. Um, uh, so yeah, so you know, like there's a lot of like Simic running around, a lot of stuff that Hushbringer can hopefully do some good work for us. Um, and then of course we are uh, an experimental frenzy deck. Whoa. Also at the top end, um, Experimental Frenzy is just amazing, but I did cut down to to three instead of four. We had four before to be able to fit in the Tectonic Giants and, and fit in a little bit more Phoenix of Ash, because I really like both of those cards. Uh, sideboard, you know, I don't have Devout Decree, even though there's so much mono red. Maybe should. I'm going Glass Casket instead. Um, you know, Glass Casket, we can also bring in against... Uh, other like gruel decks and to be able to hit um like edge wall innkeeper or or if you face like a um a golgari uh adventure deck so you know you can hit edge wall innkeeper you can hit um pelt collector uh stuff like that <clears throat> but it should also still be really good against mono red you know i want i wanted that slot to be able to exile like annex it can't get rid of Torbran, where Devout Decree could get rid of Torbran, but we have some other removal for that, for Torbran. Um, I have Banishing Light in here, because we need some kind of answer to Planeswalkers. You know, like Nyssa is a huge problem, and so we have a couple of Banishing Lights to help answer Nyssa. I'm kind of interested to see how Eidolon of Obstruction does, maybe slowing down uh, Nyssa a little bit. Um, you know, Clarion's also going to be good against aggro you know we kind of turn into like a control deck against other aggro decks you know with frenzy clarion stuff like that and against control we can bring in outlaws merriment as a, a, a threat that doesn't just die to sweepers and i got an extra phoenix of ash against control so here we go um all right so let's go ahead and give this a try so today we're going to be going through leagues so we're going to be playing playing through leagues play till we win five or lose two whatever happens first that's what we have with all of our decks on the docket today the icon next to the wild card icon is a is a draft uh token so i guess i have a, a draft i can do with that um yeah stream decker's website can be pretty slow i mean i guess it's just their their website i guess i don't know I don't have like the answer of why, but it it can be. More lands. There we go. Well, this is just a good solid hand. I guess I'm gonna put back Justice Strike, even though that's a pretty solid card too. I think the the other four mana cards are probably gonna be more reliable 
for us than what Hakdos will be. We got another Boros deck. <laughs> we have to be the only two decks playing Integrity Intervention. Integrity Intervention is pretty sweet, though. How to make the green white planeswalker work? Um, yeah, Dibs. I mean, I've I've played a Selesnya enchantment deck, a, you know, twice. That uh, has used the new green white planeswalker. I'll send you the two videos. Here's the first one. And there's the deck list in them. And then the second one with a little bit more up updated list. But yeah, check out both this. All right, what do we got? Just another one of these? Cool. They had to find the people playing in Integrity Intervention and set up a mirror match. Don't feel like I need to Bone Crusher Giant that thing. I do wish I would have drawn a land, so I w then I would have idle on a plus bone crusher giant. Fire Captain. Um, that thing's actually scary. Guess I could have saved Giant Killer. So, option. One, play Tectonic Giant. Option two, Bone Crusher Giant, the, or Stomp the Hawk and tap down the True Fire Captain. <laughs> yeah, I gotta watch out for Star of Extinction. attack where are we at 23 this is 8 if I do the 3 damage it's 11 
That could set me up for lethal the next turn. Let's just do that. I'm doing that right now because if they if they have like a pump spell, I don't want that. I don't want to do that during their turn. Like they draw a pump spell and I do that and they pump up their hawk that kills me. That was really close. Um, let's make sure. Should kill them. 4, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Pretty close. Does seem like I'm supposed to be playing Clarion. Doesn't really seem like I need Hushbringer. So we could play like Clarion and Banishing Light. Hey, Chase in pajamas. Thanks for that reset. I think I want to take out a Tajik or a Phoenix. That's going to be a Phoenix. That's our third sub of the day. Thanks, Destructor. Glass Casket could, yeah, could could definitely play Glass Casket if we end up losing this. Um, something to kind of look at. And then also, Destructor, if you you know you like Azorius Blink. You can check out that video. And then you see some good stuff there. <clears throat> Alright, so keep with the planes because it'll just turn on these Castle Iron Veils coming into play untapped. I don't know, Eidolon's good. First strike and stuff. I don't want to like take out all my two drops. I mean I guess I could have played Glass Casket instead of Eidolon, but I, don't know. I like Eidolon. I probably could have taken out God's Willing for a glass casket. That is true, the Fable Passage would help out Phoenix. That's a good call. That's true. And would help out... Could help out Frenzy, also. <laughs> no. No, I didn't put Hectus in. All right, no integrity intervention on their side. Yeah, it's true. Glass Casket does hit both the Titans. It's a good call. The new Elder Giants. the best card in our deck. 
Um, I guess that answer probably changes from time to time. Probably the most individually powerful card is Experimental Frenzy. They're at eight. We have double intervention. We can do three damage as well. Crocs has been your favorite card. Oh, they are Titans. That's that's an accurate description. You can call the call them Titans. Opponent really likes attacking. <laughs> nice, Portland Ranger. Yeah, God's Willing is a tough card to play against. Yeah, we got that one. GG's. All right, let's get another test. Sacred Foundry does help with the castle Emberith, but yeah, I don't need to keep a sixth land. I'm a Hushbringer. A reanimator deck. We played a Demir reanimator the other day. That went pretty well. Here you go. Deputy of Detention. Now, why would they think that I would want my creature deputized? I could have intervention and kill the deputy, and they could, then they would get back deputy. But, you know, all right, so they're going to get back Cavalier of Dawn. 
<clears throat> Cavalier of Dawn with the Binding of the Titans. That sounds pretty sweet. It seems like this is a good Hushbringer matchup. Okay. How do I want to do this? Yeah, I, I can kill their deputy and get back my, my Phoenix, or I can um, attack with everything. They have Uro, Block, Tectonic, Giant, and then I can Intervention the Uro. And trade Tectonic Giant plus Intervention for Uro. Hmm. I'm not sure which one of those I want to do. I can also just activate Castle Embrith and then Integrity, but then I can't play Eidolon also. Destruction shutting him down. Okay. Cards are kind of doing what we wanted them to. So that was pretty sweet. So Glass Casket and Banishing Light both look pretty decent. Doesn't seem like we need God's Willing in this matchup as much. Maybe not integrity either. Hmm. Guess I do have Justice Strike. So yeah, Giant Killer, Glass Casket. Two cards I'm thinking about taking out. Yeah, I think I'm going to take out either a, a Giant Killer or a Glass Casket. How much artifact removal are they going to have? I could have like Teferi, which would be annoying. Maybe I just don't play Glass Casket. We get this integrity back in here. <clears throat> Hey, Rena too, doing good. Hey, Matthew. Uh, I guess so. We're gonna bring the hush. The hush will be brought. It is kind of annoying how Uro just stays in, in play. Looks like 
opponent's just playing Bant Mythics. Or Bant Gold. It has a, a rare Mythic symbol, it's in the deck. Do not activate Planeswalker abilities. Hmm. So obviously Aurelia is my best card to play. Or how they play that turn, these last two turns, it does kind of feel like they have another counter spell. I guess we'll still try it out. I hope not. Yay. Um. Did have to ferry. Sweet. We get a Phoenix. Not sure what that attack was about. So this is second chapter, exile two tar cards from graveyard, so I probably need to get rid of this. I probably need to bring the Phoenix back before they exile it. And it doesn't really matter what I... What I exile. Return a creature or a land. These are not creatures or land. They're like they have a land. All right. Well, Hushbringer and Eidolon of Obstruction working well together. Phoenix being awesome. And that's our second win. Brand new tier one sub. Y'all get some hype in the chat for our new uh, sub right there. Thank you so much, Smogs. Oh, man, these hands. These hands are not great. I could try this. Obviously putting one frenzy down to the bottom. We have to draw a red mana. Is it is it more likely that we draw like red mana and win with this hand or that we win with five cards I have one more red source than white source we have 8 15 17 we have 17 red sources so 17 out of 53 Going to five is weakness, but everybody else says mole. All right, one more. Okay, so we'll keep 
Hushbringer Tajik Frenzy. And just try to draw a couple of lands and curve out that way. Come on, deck, throw me some lands. Land. Tilt. This is unfortunate. Twenty-five lands in here. Um, yeah, I don't have. I don't really have any thoughts on. Orzhov Doom versus Esper Doom, to be honest. I, I don't really have enough experience with, with both archetypes to say that like one is strictly better than the other. I, don't, I could be convinced either way. I don't know. If, if you have a preference on one of them, then, you know, go with it. Hey, QQ. <clears throat> well, obviously, we're probably not winning this. Trading Tajik for two Gilded Goose isn't bad. I guess, and we, we trade a God's Willing also, a Tajik and a God's Willing. Anytime, QQ, anytime. Why 
Why are they not killing me? Stopped out. If they don't want to sacrifice their own creatures, I guess. <clears throat> okay. We obviously didn't get to do very much that game. Gotta get rid of Mayhem Devil. So need more removal for Mayhem Devil. Which we have a lot, you know, Glass Casket, Banishing Light, Clarion. Those are all those are all good. Yeah, just whisper me the, the list whenever you whenever you can, QQ. I kind of feel like maybe playing Clarion, honestly, like getting rid of Paradise Druids and everything. No, maybe not. Right, disenchant Heliod's intervention. Like, do we just turn into like complete control deck? I'm bringing like those things and all these this stuff. We could do worse. Yeah, we could do worse. Yeah, I assume they have the the five drop for for giant killer. Uh, Corvold. Corvold. Really needs to go. You know, you can't you can't survive against Corvold even for like one turn. So even though I have Justice Strike, they can kill Corvold. Probably want a little extra. I don't like our two draws so far of just being land land. I don't really like that either. The witch's oven that is. So I take the two for one. Now, or try to hit a devil also. If I play Aurelia, we'll just play Aurelia. Yeah, Clarion you know, can give lifelink also, which Storm's Wrath can't. I kind of like where it is on the curve against those decks you really wanted on turn three, not turn four. And if you're ahead, you know, if you have like some creatures out and you don't need to wipe the board, you can just use Clarion to give your creatures that you have out lifelink. And... just do that I 
Thanks, Frogger. Thanks to the Twitch Prime sub. Now I wish I would have used the Clarion last turn. So I bet if I play Clarion, they can draw two. If I try to Glass Cask at the Reaper, they're not drawing two. I do want to play this before Bone Crusher Giant. Obviously, it could obviously draw two if they chose to. Anyway, there you go. Thanks, QQ. Probably be playing that tomorrow. Hushbringer should be any permanent, not just creatures. Where were all these lands last game? Bring her go. Yuck. Can we get a frenzy or a phoenix or a frenzy? <clears throat> Come on, a third devil. Ugh. That's just rude. Oh, I meant to destroy that first, but oh well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. 
Phoenix, Frenzy. Another land. I don't know how many lands in a row that was, but that's a lot of lands in a row. Three, three lands in a row. Phoenix. Getting this devil out of here. Unless they have another removal spell. Well, that just kind of seemed like... I guess it wasn't really a waste. Okay. So the problem with playing Frenzy, of course, is Brontodon, but... Like, can I have Phoenix of Ash trade with Brontodon first? Probably not. Only escape three. That's so good. Come on. <laughs> Not enough lands. Sure, I'll take a glass casket. Still activate this castle, make two blockers. Man, that Phoenix was so good.
Go, Phoenix, go. All right, does Phoenix get there? Not quite. You gonna bring back Calder Familiar or just gain three life? All right, bring back Calder Familiar. So what do they got now? No, I haven't made a Naya Giants deck. No, I had Foxy Brown. Murderous Writer. Well, that's gonna... It's gonna get rid of the Phoenix. Lord Chrissy. Twitch Prime stuff for four awesome months. Thank you so much there, Lord Chrissy. Oh, that's sub, sub number six. I'm behind. Attack. And Atrian. Eight awesome months. Thank you, Atrian. Just gonna make another 1 1 with the Arden Veil. Oh gosh. I can't quite finish them off. Call into Familiar Release does not trigger because of Hushbringer. On whiff. Ugh, they're never gonna whiff. Good job, Hushbringer. So they can gain three life with that to stay alive. With blocking with Gilded Goose. Right? Does that even keep them alive? Maybe. Actually, that does not, because we have the Phoenix. Never mind. No, they're dead. Phoenix is just great. So yeah, I guess I could probably take out Giant Killer, but we do need to kill Corvold. I still have Justice Strike at the Ashing Light. That's not a ton. Played a bunch of Noxious Grasps. Which could make playing another Phoenix better than playing Aurelia. Phoenix did look pretty good. Oh, you're welcome, Calsonic. Yeah, I like I like this Boros deck. This is a good one. Oh, so yeah, Giant Killer, Glass Casket. I don't love. I'm gonna just keep it like this though. Newt Mox. Mox coming in with a brand new Twitch Prime sub. If 
Bunch of subs today. Y'all are amazing. Getting that sub luck with having three lands, four spells. Yeah, Helios Intervention is a lot better than Disenchant for this kind of matchup. The reason why I have a couple of Disenchants in is because I, I haven't really been facing this kind of matchup recently. And um, and I, I've kind of had Heliod's Intervention just not do a lot for me recently in sideboards. The reason why I have Disenchant is because like against I've seen more Fires of Invention. And against Fires of Invention, I would rather play like a Disenchant that can uh, be a little more... Effective or I'm good at what cost. I do, and what I do is win. Um, an unfortunate casualty cost less. But yeah, I certainly kind of wish that I had. <clears throat> uh, of course, Veraska can kill this, but. Can't really do anything about that. I wish I had more Heliod's intervention. But oh well. Pity we couldn't have been allies. How much time do they have left? 16 minutes. I'm at 19 minutes. They do not have red mana right now. I'll be kind of surprised if we win this, though, if we beat Trail of Chrome's Vraska, to be honest. From time to time. With what we got in hand. If it wasn't for that, I could have... You know, made Aurelia 5 power by activating Castle Empress to be able to kill Golgari Queen. Ah, that got my attention. So yeah, Trailer Crumbs, Vraska, and Corvold. I'll be really surprised if we win this. Good job, Vartile. Gotta get rid of this trail of crumbs. Hey, D Bluette. Right. So yeah, the the plan is to try to mentor onto this giant killer, make it a three four, and then maybe we clarion on away everything else afterwards if we're lucky. That's the hope. Darn.
still worth it. Instead of letting them have Gilded Goose the, to make a food and then also be able to sacrifice the Gilded Goose, you know, like all that kind of stuff. <clears throat> hey, Nimbus Maze is going good. My opponent is not really running out of steam. They're just going to have Bronzedon bring back the Trailer Crumbs and then bring back Cauldron Familiar and get new stuff with Trailer Crumbs. My opponent's pretty far ahead right now. They still have their their holy trinity of, of in Cauldron Familiar Trailer Crumbs and they're just going to gain tons of cards with Trailer Crumbs. So, that's probably it. Felt pretty good about it until the Bronzedon. Because obviously the Bronzedon was another trailer crumbs. No, I don't have any Hactos in the list. I'm pumping the Bone Crusher Giant to give Bone Crusher Giant trample. But obviously they're just gonna kill it. Yeah, you don't really beat familiar of in trailer crumbs. It doesn't really happen. Let me get that set up in the late game. This could work out though. For how they how they did this. Probably not. Nope. Now definitely not. Taylor Crumb's pretty busted. So we can we can sit here and, and watch us lose, but uh, like if I draw Heliod's intervention, do I have a chance? Probably not. They get they get six new cards this turn. So we're gonna move on. Hey, we got a new pack. 40 gems. Alright, hopefully get a mythic. Still a lot of mythics I need. Nope. There. We've not been... We've not had very much luck recently with the packs. We've been opening up lots and lots of rares. Yeah, standard, they, they really have just given standard lots and lots of card advantage everywhere you're right yeah every adventure card two for one and then yeah trail of crumbs innkeeper you know it's a champion risen reef just ev everything's card advantage right now in standard
it so much that like experimental frenzy doesn't even seem like that much card advantage because there is so much Okay, nice, Storm. Good. I'm willing to trade Eidolon for Fervent Champion. I'm willing to tr make that trade. Alright, looks like the opponent is not. No, I lost the last game. Does Justice Strike kill Torbran? Red Source, you control deal damage to an opponent or it deals too much. No, it doesn't. Huh. I mean, I guess I can Justice Strike and Bone Crusher Giant it. I mean, this, this does not kill Torbran. So Tectonic Giant's great when it doesn't get murdered. I mean, if, even if it gets murdered, it gets you another card. So it's still a two for one even when it gets murdered. Ember Cleave. And Robber the Rich to block. Oh, that, that Robber the Rich blocker. Ooh, okay, wait. Okay. We gotta do 10, 3, 6, 7, 8, 9, yeah, we got this. Perfect. Yeah, the music playlist is exclamation point playlist. There you go. There's a link to my Spotify playlist. All right. So we want Clarion's Light Casket. I probably want like Disenchant or Intervention for Embercleave. Honestly. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Tectonic Giant's awesome. Maybe it's better than Aurelia. I mean, it would it pr probably would have been better than Aurelia, like, that last game that we just played. That You know, we got to attack with Aurelia a million times, but it wasn't good enough. Like, Tectonic Giant would have been better. Aurelia kind of pairs better with Hushbringer, but... 
Um, I think I do like God's Willing to take out like tons of uh, <clears throat> tons of creatures though. All right, good scry. Yeah, and they could they could have like frenzy also. Stomp and steamkin. Gross. Boo. Stomping robbers. Tectonic giant with bolus citadel. Take two for saving it. I mean, it really is good too, I guess. Am I ever gonna have like time to play Aurelia? Not really, so we'll just put it down to the bottom. Tonic Giant. Well, this is looking pretty good for us. Now we don't have to take the two even there. And looking for another land. Not find a land. So I would have played land than than this other Bone Crusher Giant. Sweet. Three and one. Okay, awesome, King J. So yeah, the ramp list without without Nissa having the four storms wrath was awesome, and it still ramped really well. Cool. Yeah, I don't I don't really know if I like Ch Chandra Awakened Inferno. I don't know for one another like six mana card. Did you try like Did you try Gadwick in there? And if so, how was Gadwick?
I could see playing, like how, I kind of said like two Gadwicks, but I could see playing one Gadwick, one Chandra. Gadwick was insane. Yeah, that's what I, I bet. Yeah, that's what I thought Gadwick was going to be insane. Cool. Yeah, no, so I, I wouldn't take out, I wouldn't take out Grazer for Chandra, Awakened Inferno. I wouldn't do that. Gar with the resub. Gar, didn't you have like the resub yesterday? I guess did the notification come back up again? It does that. Do you think Esper Doom is top tier right now? Um, sure. I don't. I don't really think there is necessarily a. A top tier like yet but I mean as per doom it's probably as good of choice as anything else <clears throat> Eidolon against the watery grave I want to draw Frenzy versus Grixis. Eidolon was not Frenzy. Acer Eccles. <laughs> no, I know. I did decided not to put Hakdos in. I have not played a Soul Tie Ramp yet. Nope. That card's pretty good. And so now they're just going to be able to take the integrity also. Then you exile my graveyard, which is good against Phoenix. Oh, well, this. That card was a nightmare. Oh, hey, this is the art for the sleeves. I actually think the opposite. I don't think Grixis has been falling at the ring. I think Grixis is as well positioned right now as it. Um, as it has been since Nicobolus Dragon God's been out. There's just. There's a lot of good stuff to be doing in Grixis. Yeah, I guess the stream decker is not updated yet. I don't know. Here. And the game's over. Like, literally. I can't beat that card. Like, this is, this is over. Yeah, I could try doing this. Maybe draw a Phoenix. Can I redirect that two damage? Give me back. Give me the redirect rules again. I guess they are at nine. How are they already at nine? Must have shocked a bunch. So I need to draw Phoenix. Exile other stuff. You cannot intimidate Phoenix. Me. 
Okay. We got Ashiok out of there. Now, I don't know how we're doing with all, dealing with all this stuff, but at least that's a start. So, you know, we can play a Bone Crusher Giant. Hopefully they have nothing but lands in hand. Thanks, Sir Eccles. Should call your channel points hype. <clears throat> Why is Ashok better than Liliana? Because two threes are a lot harder to kill than two twos, but it also just you know costs five instead of six. You can get rid of any any permanent at all with the minus. Big difference between five drops and six drops. Why would you think E2 Extinctions is much worse than Contempt? You think 2 Life is much better than Surveil 1? It's like the difference between Absorb and Sinister Sabotage, but if Absorb only gained 2 Life and not 3. I don't think that's much different. I think that's very comparable. Um, I don't think I've ever had one, Matthew. Frenzy. Boo. It's going to be a tough matchup, especially if they have Ashiok. Need these banishing lights. Merriment, another Phoenix. <clears throat> I'm going to take out Aurelia. Could play Clarion. It's kind of weird. Like Giant Killer, Justice Strike. I don't really want to play three Giant Killer, four Justice Strike, but I don't really want to play any of these cards in my sideboard either. It really is the best, but I don't want more than eight four drops. It's a lot of four drops. Um, I guess I could just play Hushbringer. I guess I'll just play like three Hushbringer. Like this hand, like they're just gonna like thought erasure away the banishing lights. And then I die. This is not a good hand. Mul I don't really like mulliganing against thought erasure though either. Like I would prefer like even just like three hush bringers, like crappy cards. Like I I want I don't want to have these in my opening hand. Like, this is a card that I want to be drawing later. 
because it's a really valuable removal spell. I don't want this taken. It's my most valuable removal spell. So I'm going to mulligan. All right, and dig for Frenzy. What if they don't have it, though? I don't know, it'll be the first time in the, the history of Grixis. They don't have Turn 2 Thought Erasure. Well, this time they don't have it because they're just their temples. I guess it's possible they don't have Thought Erasure because I put the Banishing Light to the bottom. I should have just activated Castle Embereth last turn anyway. I should have done this last turn instead of holding instead of holding up Intervention and Giant Killer. No, Midnight Reaper does not trigger with Hushbringer in play. And, like, yeah, if there's a Kaya's Wrath, that, no. Because the Kaya's Wrath would see the Midnight Reaper normally, which is why it would be triggering, but it also sees the Hushbringers, and no, like, they wouldn't draw cards. I think. Well, actually. Because, no, just they just wouldn't trigger, right? So they wouldn't go on the stack. Where's Frenzy and Outlaw's Merriment? Need those cards. Our Banishing Light's still in our deck. The library gets shuffled. It's now not discarded. We have drawn just the worst cards in our deck. You know, Hushbringer, Giant Killer, Integrity. These are just the absolute worst cards in our deck for this matchup. So our, our deck has not looked very good. These are all, like, there aren't cards that are worse than those in our deck. I wonder if you're greedy. All your fears are given for. So good news, we drew Merriment. Bad news, Ashiok is just going to get rid of it. Hey, what's up, Boot? All right, well, Ashiok got us two games. <laughs> okay. That is one that we're just not going to be winning. 
and just for sake of sanity and moving on, I'm just going to concede. Even though, obviously, we were at 28, it was going to take a while. Hey, Soltraz. Happy anniversary from Italy. Welcome from Italy. Yeah, those are those are just the worst cards we had against Control. Um, you know, maybe if I would have kept the, the first hand, you know, with the double vanishing light, uh, you know, they, they only ended up having, like, the one thought erasure. Maybe that hand would have, you know, maybe would have drawn better spells, but... Uh, yeah. Grixis is pretty good. It is. Uh, you know, Frenzy and Merriment are... Are our two best cards, and didn't see one of those till it's too late. All right, but there we go. So there's Boros Agro. Um, didn't get to play against any Simic, and so Hushbringer was was okay, but it wasn't spectacular. Eidolon of Obstruction looked okay, also. I think I liked Eidolon more than I would have liked Robber of the Rich. I think Eidolon was better than that. Um, Tectonic Giant really looked good. So did Phoenix of Ash. Both those cards looked really good. I I kind of regret going down to three Frenzies, honestly. Aurelia was okay, but wasn't spectacular. Maybe we should just have the third Tectonic Giant and just get this fourth Frenzy back in. If not in the main, maybe in the sideboard. But maybe those four drops are just going to be better than Aurelia. Aurelia makes Hushbringer better. Um, but, you know, like before, of course, it always had, like, the four Frenzies and really focused on Frenzy. And then being able to play a super long game. And we saw some of those games. I was just running out of gas because I didn't have Frenzy. Like, against, like, both of our losses. I was just sitting there with nothing to do. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I do think this, this version is upgraded over the, the previous version. I don't know. It really is pretty good too, but you, you can't just have like tons and tons and tons of seven, of, sorry, of four drops. But I did... I did certainly miss... I'm going to take out a Clarion, get this fourth Merriment back in. I miss not having the four Frenzies and four Merriments. I want four of both of those cards. I don't know. Not playing Aurelia is gonna ma would make Hushbringer worse, for sure. No, I don't think 25 lands is too many. Um, which also reminds me, I think we want like two, I don't, I don't think I really want four Fable Passage, but I want like two Fable Passage. You know, Fable Passage, of course, letting you shuffle for Frenzy and, um, being a, another card that you can put in the graveyard to help Phoenix. So I think I want like two Fable Passages. Um, yeah. And then, uh, I don't know, Tectonic Giant looked really good. Like, so, like, I definitely missed stuff with, with taking out the, that, uh, taking out the Aurelias. I definitely miss, like, the Mentor. But... Giant Giant may just be better. Metagames also kind of changed where Giant Killer looked worse than before. You're just getting this fourth Phoenix in here, taking out one of the Giant Killers. Um, 
which will clear which will clear up another sideboard slot. Which could be a third banishing light. Just gotta get rid of those. Um, gotta get rid of those planeswalkers. Definitely a second Heliod's intervention over disenchants, and maybe it's just maybe you just go all out Heliod's interventions instead of disenchants. Maybe that's just yeah, that's probably just wrong. Just playing disenchant. This is just one extra mana for disenchant, but it just has so much more upside. So I, I think I think that was a mistake. So let's get all the interventions in there. And then you got an extra sideboard slot. Could put the third Clarion back in. Could play a Banishing Light. Another Banishing Light. Could. Could play Devout Decree, as we talked about uh, before. Um, yeah, let's play like one Decree. But yeah, I talked, I talked about at the beginning of the video why I'm playing Glass Casket over Decree, but... Torbrand is still a problem a little bit, and so yeah, let's play like one decree instead of the third Clarion. I think that's fine. Cool. Um, what about a Realm Cloak Giant at the top? Yeah, you could have you could have a Realm Cloak Giant in the sideboard. I I wouldn't want it main deck, but that could also be a, a good sideboard card for like opponents playing a lot of creatures. You just play a Realm Cloak Giant. That can be a good sideboard card. That's not bad. I'll go with Decree, though. All right, so there we go. So there's some uh, updates after playing through it. Um, but yeah, so like, you know, if you're trying to make Hushbringer work with all the Simic decks, I think this is a pretty strong Hushbringer shell. And I want to get some of these other cards that impressed. We need to get some more copies of those in here. I think from like how we played those games, I think this this would work out even better. All right. Um, so there we go. So there's Boros Aggro. Um, those of y'all watching on YouTube, you know, hit that like button over there. Let me know what you think of the deck. Um, and if you're trying it out yourself, you know, leave those comments and let me know how it's going for you. But thank you so much for watching some Boros Agro, and I will see you for the next video.